What's going on guys, this is Goofy Goop the Balls, and today I wanted to explain to you guys how momentum works in Infinite Warfare. So this is a new perk, we haven't seen this in any previous Call of Duty games, but it's most similar to something like Lightweight, which we've seen in many past games, but it works in a very, very different way. The perk description says, Sprint faster over time. Jumping, sliding, and wall running will reset your momentum. So this is clearly a very vague and kind of misleading definition. You don't actually gradually gain speed over time. What actually happens is, after you're running for a certain amount of time, you hear this audio cue, which means that you have the speed boost, and after you wall run, slide, boost, jump, stop running for any reason, you hear this audio cue, which means you've lost the speed boost and you no longer have it, and you'd have to build it back up again for running for that certain amount of time before it activates. So I did some testing to answer the three main questions regarding this perk. The first is, how long do you have to run to get this speed boost? The second is, how much faster is this speed boost than normal running? And the third question is, once you have the speed boost, does this speed boost gradually increase over time as long as you keep running? Because that's what the description would seem to say. So I'm going to answer all three of those questions through some testing. So to do this, I went to the map terminal, picked a certain spot, and picked a certain viewpoint on the other wall, and I was going to run an exactly straight line to that other wall. And doing this without momentum took me exactly 8.63 seconds. And then I do it again with momentum, and after I get the speed boost and everything, it comes out to 8.13 seconds. And if we slow down a clip of this again, we can see that almost at exactly 3 seconds we hear the audio cue indicating that I got the speed boost. So my guess is that in-game it's actually hard-coded for the speed boost to come in at exactly 3 seconds. And that means that we know that the first 3 seconds with momentum are exactly the same as the first 3 seconds without momentum. So we can basically chop those off of the race and then measure the time of the rest of the race without momentum and with momentum to determine how fast the speed boost is. So if we just subtract 3 seconds from the without momentum time, we can see that the rest of the race took 5.63 seconds. And for the with momentum time, if we subtract 3 seconds, we know the rest of the race took 5.13 seconds. And if we do some quick math right here, subtract the without momentum from the with momentum and divide it by the without momentum and multiply it by 100%, we can see that the momentum speed boost is approximately 9%. And let me know what you guys think about this 9% speed increase. It kind of might seem like not that much, but if you look at previous Call of Duty games like Black Ops 2, Lightweight was only a 70% speed increase, so that's something to consider. But again, let me know what you guys think about this. Now, to address the third question, I also did an additional speed test to see if there was any gradual speed increase like the perk description would suggest. So I made the run, and then instead of running straight into the wall, I basically turned around, went back to the starting point while still running the whole time, and tried to start at the same point and go to the same point in a straight line, again, without stopping at any time, to see if my momentum would increase slowly over time. And I did this not once, twice, but three times. So I ran the first lap to get it, then I ran it and timed it, then I ran it all the way around again and timed it, and ran all the way around again and timed it. And compared those times to see if there was any decrease in the time, meaning that there would be any speed increase. And it actually turns out that there is no speed increase. Each time I did this, I actually got exactly 7.77 seconds, all three times I measured it. And when we do some math with the non-momentum time, we do 8.63 minus 7.77 divided by 8.63 multiplied by 100%, and we see that we get about 10%. And that is 1% faster than the original calculation, but this could be due to a lot of things. Maybe the difference in the frame rate, I'm only recording at 30 FPS, so I might have missed something and that might have thrown off the timing a little bit. It's hard to time exactly when I started at the same spot and when I stopped at the same spot because I didn't really start at the same spot every time because I couldn't stop and line it up. And I didn't stop at the same spot every time either because I didn't run into the wall. I had to turn around and keep going. So there's just a lot of different things that could effect why that was 10% not 9% but at the end of the day I would say it's you know the speed increase is somewhere between 9 and 10% so just to sum up the answers to the three questions the speed boost takes three seconds to activate it's somewhere between 9 and 10% speed increase and there is no gradual increase over time like the perk description would suggest so my recommendations with this perk are if you're going to be doing a lot of sustained running like kind of playing the objective or rushing or playing on a big map where you need to get from point A to point B and you're going to be doing a lot of running and it would really benefit you if you got there a lot faster then I would definitely recommend using this perk because that's exactly what it's going to do and 
after you get that initial three seconds out of the way, you are moving 9 to 10 percent faster, which is actually pretty fast and more significant than lightweight has been in previous Call of Duty games. But if you're playing more defensively on a small map, you're going to be doing a lot of stopping and not really going to ever hit that three second window, or even if you do, it won't even be for that long. I wouldn't recommend using this perk because you're really not going to get much benefit out of it and you could probably get much more out of something like Hardline, Cold-Blooded, Tracker, or something else like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something useful. If you guys did, I'd love it if you could hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to help support my channel and stay up to date with more Modern Warfare Remastered and Infinite Warfare tips and tricks. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.